Covering the news is exhilarating. You travel the country, meet interesting people, and find real stories. But then one day you realize it's a f***ing Tuesday in November again. Well, it's election day again. <laughs> Got it? It's election day again. Because it's... I can't... It's election day again! <laughs> Virginia! As a journalist, I'm honored to be covering this sacred process. No. Again, I feel super chill about it. I'm good. It's election day again, and we've got another close race on our hands, so you better start clenching those butt cheeks. Early voting is already underway in the Virginia gubernatorial race with the latest polling showing Democratic Governor Terry McAuliffe effectively in a dead heat. Politico writing, if Terry McAuliffe doesn't pull out a win, Democrats are privately predicting a collapse on Capitol Hill. Wait, Virginia could go red? For a state that went blue by 450,000 votes in the last election, this was a story worth keeping down the vomit. I sat down with Jeffrey Skelly from 538 to help me make sense of this. Sorry about the mess elections, am I right? Why is this race in particular so close? Isn't Virginia blue? Yeah, so Virginia is, has been Democratic leaning over the last few years, uh, but President Biden is now uh, somewhat unpopular. And I think voters are responding to that. And so the electoral environment is better for Republicans. So we've got a close race in Virginia. Who do you think will actually decide this race? Young voters are really important. Uh, because they are basically the most Democratic-leaning group. Well, one little interesting thing McAuliffe has done is run campaign ads uh, attacking Glenn Youngkin uh, because he was uh, CEO of the Carlisle Group, which was involved in the purchase of Taylor Swift's master recordings. And so they've been using this to try to get young people to, to pay attention to the race because there are a lot of young people out there, you know, 18 to 34-year-olds, who really like Taylor Swift. Virginia Democrat candidate for Governor Terry McAuliffe recruiting Taylor Swift fans. McAuliffe reportedly linking his opponent to music executive Scooter Braun, who infamously bought Swift's master recordings back in 2019. After I was denied the chance to purchase my music outright, my entire catalog was sold to Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings in a deal that I'm told was funded by the Carlisle Group. One of the targeted ads reading, did you know that Republican candidate for governor Glenn Youngkin helped buy Taylor Swift's masters out from under her? You gotta be shitting me. Taylor Swift fans vote? I think that's what the McAuliffe campaign is, is hoping. If the Swifties are backing McAuliffe, what group of fans are backing Youngkin? Chet Hanks fans? Chet heads? Well, we don't have any polling on, on different uh, fan groups of, of musical artists. We're 538. What the yeah, it's, it's a real, that's a real niche. Could we be underestimating the Swifties? I think I'd be careful about giving them too much weight, but there are a lot of young people who like Taylor Swift. Uh, we know that's true. Could Taylor Swift fans be the key to the Virginia race? To find out, I had to dive deep into their fandom, no matter how many of her albums I had to buy on the show's credit card. Oh, sorry. This just happened to me without my approval or consent. Shame on him. Woo! Woo! Finally, after becoming fluent in all things Taylor, I gathered a group of her fans in Virginia to see how angry they were with candidate Youngkin. Are you all true fans? Are you true Swifties? Did you buy signed Fearless albums, Taylor version? I actually do have it and I can Pull it up. I also have every single Taylor record on vinyl right next to me if we want to go that far. Yeah. The two most important dates in November is November 2nd, which is Election Day, and November 12th, which is red. Yeah, I'm taking off work for Election Day just in case the lines are too long. Are you also taking off work for Taylor's release of Red? Oh, 100%. I need to get through all the emotions of all the songs on that album. I'm taking off work and my therapist is not getting the day off. While I respect this generation's clear dedication to mental health, could this new base of voters actually tip the scales in Virginia? I'm originally from Texas and the last three years in college I voted in Texas, but I just knew that I couldn't um, just sit by and watch as Youngkin took Virginia. And so that's when I decided to change my voter registration. Wow. Okay, so you just changed your registration. This is dedication. I was in the weird college era as well, where I was kind of voting in my home state. Uh, but now I am voting in Virginia because of this issue. I couldn't help but pity these young girls. There are so many important issues, but all they care about is Taylor Swift's master recordings. It's not really about the masters, but I mean, just a couple of days ago, Youngkin 
came out and said, you know, he loves everyone. And when asked if that includes uh, LGBTQ people, he said no. Are there other issues that you care about? Women's right to choose. I'm very passionate about gun violence prevention. Climate change is going to be the biggest issue of our time, so those policies are super important. I'm an environmental engineer, so this is life-changing. What would you say to boomers like my Aunt Sheila, who say 14-year-old girls should stay out of politics and stop stealing my sleeping pills, Desi? I think that's such a weird stereotype of Taylor Swift fans because we're not 14 anymore. We are adults. We pay taxes and we vote. Yeah, do you want to see my thesis paper about con congressional legislation? Because I can show you that. Don't underestimate Swifties. <laughs> All right, take it easy, Molly. Jeez. I don't want any snake comments on my Insta. Yes, they are fans of Taylor Swift. And yes, they are in their 20s. Maybe they can make a difference in this upcoming election. No matter what happens, at least now I'll have some great music to cry to, just in time for next Election Tuesday.